What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of B&B Fishing. Today we're going to be uh, dialing in our 243 rifle and uh, we're going to be shooting it at that target back there. And uh, so uh, let's go get everything dialed in and I'll see y'all at the gun. Alright, we're going to go over the basics of loading a 243 rifle. First you're going to have to put it on safety and then you're going to get one of your bullets right here. And you're going to put it right there, where there's obviously where it looks like the bullet's going to go in. And you're going to breach the chamber. Make sure it's on safety still. Pull back the hammer. When you're ready. When you're ready to fire. And then when you're ready to fire, take it off safety and pull the trigger. Nice and easy. Alright, um, my dad's going to shoot the first one just to see how the gun's firing. And uh, here's the first one right here. Okay, there's the first. All right, so we were aiming right here six inches low. at the orange dot, and we were about six inches low right there. So we got to adjust the scope a little bit higher. We'll be back. And then we'll be hitting those right there. Those have been uh, shot at a lot, let's say that. Okay, so we're going to adjust it up a little bit. So we're going to click it about, or turn it about five times. Ooh, I can't get it. And then we're going to go see what it looks like, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, that was our second shot. So it came up just about two inches from right here, and we got a pretty good bit, a uh, pretty good ways to go, probably about four inches. So let's adjust it again. So uh, this time we hit right here, so we got like two inches to go and then we should be pretty good so uh, let's go dial it in Alright guys, uh, just came down here and checked. I got that one right there. The bullseye. Oh, it's pretty close. We gotta get one right here and then we'll be good. And we're gonna probably shoot a few more guns. So uh, let's go back all the way over there and uh, get going. Alright guys, um, these are all the holes from the big rifle, uh, we got it dialed in, right here, see, so uh, we got it dialed in, so now we know if we get a deer we're going to hit him, so now we're just going to have a little bit of fun and shoot a 22 rifle that I haven't shot in a good while, 
So, uh, yeah, let's go over there and uh, let's shoot it right now. All right, let's just go ahead and rip this one off. And uh, let's put this new one right here on. Let me go ahead and get that one on for you. All right, we got the new one on there, so let's try to dial in this 22 and uh, let's have some fun with it. What happened? Alright, I'll leave at the ground at the bottom of the door and I hit the bottom target. Okay. So it means come down. Right? Okay. If you aimed at the ground and you hit the bottom target. Yeah. We gotta get this gun tuned in for squirrel season. We can go smoke some squirrels. I'm trying to hit that target like over there. We're probably not gonna be shooting squirrels from that far away. But who knows? We might be. Hold on. Be right back. So guys, look at this. Look at the size of a 243 shell compared to oh, a 22 shell. Like, look at this. That is so small compared to this. Those are huge. They're giant compared to this little 22 shell. I mean, I could probably fit this 22 shell inside there I can I can fit the 22 shell inside the 243 shell Yeah, All right, I, I was shooting at the pumpkin and uh, I hit it a lot. Look at this one bullet though. It like skimmed the top and like sliced it in half. And there's a bunch of holes on the back. Exit wounds. Exit wounds, I guess. Where's the lead that was stuck in there? That's from the 22? Yeah. Dang. We hit that one. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. We got the 243 dialed in. So we know we're going to hit the deer next time. We got we were playing around with the 22. We got it dialed in. Please like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.